You know what I'm talking about? What's good with the people, man? It's your partner, man. Who? It's your partner, man. You know what I'm talking about? What's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing on this uh, multi is a Monday? You say multi is a Monday? What you talking about, bro? You know what I'm talking about? We gonna get into it, but before we do that, what's good, people? Like, he he, ha ha. You know what I'm talking about? Ken in the pen, man. All my folks incarcerated, all my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say Ken in the pen, man? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up in stores now, man. You can go get you something off of 76 MacArthur Giants liquors, what I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside, barbershop, you know what I'm talking about? They say somebody putting them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now, you know, because I tell you every morning, man, but just in case you forgot, man, you can come get them things from me, you know what I'm talking about? You can come get them from me, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Uh, you can come get them from me, man, you know what I'm talking about? But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, you can go grab some of them things off Amazon. Make sure you cop your hardback, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Also in stores, Funk or Die trying, man. Make sure you go get you something. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that swing, that finger, young man? You know what I'm talking about? Come on with it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Worldwide INC, man. Come on with it, bruh. Worldwide Incorporated. Come on with it, bro. Worldwide. They gonna say, what does that mean? I'm gonna say, hey! You know what I'm talking about? It means everybody, bruh. Everybody included. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu Mike. You know what I'm talking about? Cutthroat. Lil Rue. Not Lil Rue. Little Rue, you know what I'm talking about? Ta Ta the player, that's who comes next. Same thing, bruh. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, I was ready for you today. My mama said. And my mama always said, brush them whiskers when you're on TV, boy. Even if they got a hole in them, you know what I'm talking about, man? Man, I almost forgot. Coffee Chronicles, you know what I'm talking about? Carmel Ribbon Crunch Frap, man, you know what I'm talking about, man? Get you what, man? That's why I don't ever do that shit, man. Bro, spit that motherfucker right inside his car, man. But yeah, man, let's get through these disclaimers, man. Carmel Ribbon Crunch Frap, man, you know what I'm talking about? Let's get through these disclaimers, man. Good brother like myself. Man, I don't promote no drug usage. No, no, no. Good brother like myself, man, I don't promote no drug sellage. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself, man, I don't promote no uh crime. No, no, no. Hold on. Good brother like myself, I don't promote no drug users. I said that. I don't promote no drug sellage. I said that. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Me, man, I don't promote no. Crime, no, no, no. I don't promote no violence, no, no, no. I don't promote no domestic violence, no, no, no. Keep your hands off the people, people. He don't talk about, I, he don't talk about, don't, he don't talk about promote, he don't talk about no negativity, no, no, no. Me, man, I don't promote shit. They was talking to bruh, I don't promote shit. All I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, young ladies and gentlemen. But a good brother like myself, I ain't prejudiced. No, no, no. I ain't talking about a good brother like myself, man. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Good brother like myself, I ain't got nothing against the little people. Nah, man, no, no, no. Me, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. They was talking to breath. I just love me some everybody. As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? And that love. You know what I'm talking about? That love. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here and fuck with your partner, man. Hey, right, check it out. Psst, 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 psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time. Man, what's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing out there, man? You know what I'm talking about? On this multi markism Monday, he said, bro, what you talking about? Oh, this one right here is going to be a, you're going to have to follow me, man. It might be a little difficult. Bro, going to jump all over the place. You know what I'm talking about? All over the place. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to all the bitches who ain't never been through nothing but to go through your phone when you sleep. <laughs> Who's Kim? <laughs> I see you, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Now, multi markism they're going to say, bro, what the fuck is you talking about? Multi markism it's a disease that, that we have, uh, but it's a self-inflicted disease, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, multi-marxism. Uh, multi 
It's a self inflicted. Uh, it's a self inflicted wound. You say self inflicted wound? Where are you talking about, bro? Now, y'all know I'm always coming up here, man. And I mean, I'm always coming up here, man. Talking about these behaviors we need to change. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I ain't talking about nan nigga, nan bitch. I just tell y'all in the real world with this shit that I be seeing, man, and uh, how motherfuckers, y'all be talking about motherfuckers changing, and y'all don't even see the shit y'all, like, in this car, bro, because it's like an automatic, like, it's just an automatic, like, wave. You get what I'm saying? You probably don't, but it's like an automatic ass wave, bro. As soon as everybody gets to doing something, you feel me? It just catches on. So it's like overnight, some fuck ass behavior. You know how they do, bro. Just like anything, just like that high value shit, that alpha, uh, beta shit. You know what I'm talking about? As soon as that shit, you hear that shit one time, and the next day that shit then caught on. Now everybody high value man and shit walking around with suits on, looking like straight dweebs. You know what I'm talking about? Looking like a dork. And some, for some reason in the nigga head, multi markism, bro. You think this suit makes you high value. So, <laughs> man, that shit crazy as a motherfucker, bro. If some clothes make you hard, nigga, I told y'all, bruh, there ain't no more game. It's just the look. You can look the part, bruh, and become anything you want to. I told you we childish. But that's what that multi-markism is, bruh. It's that disease right there. It's that disease of knowing you doing some bitch-ass shit, folks. And then you're going to come up here and you're going to rationalize it. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's how we fuck with it now. Because one of these other characters came around doing that bullshit. I can say everything out of my mouth to get your attention. Then I'm going to try to hit you with some shit. I'm going to listen to what you say. And then I'm going to find your soft spot. And I'm going to hit you. Bro, all you got to do is have a gift of gab. And you always be right, folks. You can make anything uh, sound like it makes sense. But no, like I said, bro. I don't even see how we move forward when we started with disrespect, bro. You get what I'm saying? You ain't got to do that shit. That shit bullshit. But what we got now, bro. On the multi, uh, on this multi market is a Monday, bro. You know what we got now? We got niggas coming up here knowing we we doing this multi markism shit, but we coming up here, man, and we uh we basically co-signing that shit, bro. And that's what be funny to me, cause niggas be sitting around here criticizing nephew and them talking about how the younger generation and it's true as a motherfucker, it's true. I'm how the younger generation is feminine, you motherfuckers is, bro. Like this generation out here, bro, you like y'all y'all move feminine. Uh, however the fuck you pronounce that shit, your mannerisms and shit, man, y'all move, man, I'm telling you niggas look like Sagoonies, folks, on some real shit, you niggas look like Sagoonies, but on that multi-markism shit, like, we be on little Nephew and them about that shit, bro, but we be out here doing this shit, bro, little Nephew and them getting that shit from, I ain't gonna say us on this one, I'm gonna say y'all, you know, on that one right there, I'm gonna exclude myself, I'm gonna say y'all, you know what I'm talking about, but little Nephew and them, they, uh, that's where they getting that shit from, bro, Cause all these niggas running around here doing this whole ass shit, folks. And niggas quick to come up here and say they real and how solid and all that shit is, bruh. It's just like a nigga come up here trying to teach a nigga how to be masculine when you doing feminine shit, bruh. Y'all trying to teach a nigga how to be masculine by doing bitch shit, bruh. And you ain't doing nothing, bruh. If you acting feminine, how you gonna tell a nigga to be masculine, bruh? That shit in you or it ain't, folks. You can't, <laughs> you niggas is crazy, bruh. Y'all act like you could just learn how to, I mean, you can. It's a bunch of shit you could learn how to do. But, nigga, who you is is who you is, nigga. Just simple, nigga. It's just who you is. But on this multi-markism Monday, bro, we got too many motherfucking excuses and rationalizations for the whole shit. We gonna come up here with another nigga name in our mouth. This is what we doing, giving our opinion on somebody else's business. But now we gonna turn around and tell somebody else... All they do is have another nigga name in your mouth. That's what I'm saying, bro. Multi-markism. And you will pick that shit up without even knowing it, bro. You will criticize a nigga about some shit that you're doing. And that's how we get to multi-markism Monday. For real. Because we good for that shit nowadays, folks. We just is. We be sitting up here in the character, nigga. Or the hoe, nigga. Or the police bitch who hired her. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. What'd you say, bro? Oh, lady. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? Say, bro, why you up there hot dogging? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Y'all remember niggas used to be studying this shit? They used to, your coach used to call it hot dogging? Nigga been intercepted the ball, start doing the Deion Sanders and shit? 
Coach been to bench your ass, told you to stop hot dogging while you showing off. I ain't never understood that shit, nigga. Why you showing, man? I don't give a fuck about these people's feelings, nigga. I'm showing off because I just made a spectacular ass play, nigga. I'm celebrating, nigga. I don't give a fuck about these people. Don't show the people up, man. Fuck these people, nigga. <laughs> nigga, fuck these people, nigga. Then you lose them niggas all in the end zone at the end, hopping up and down, man. That's why you just get yours out the way when you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you just get yours out the way when you can, man. Who was on the football? I don't even know why that, that, that shit just popped up in my head, bro. Who was on the football team with us, nigga, when we was playing for Frick, nigga? Well, I don't know. We was in the seventh grade or the eighth grade, but we was in the seventh grade, nigga, and they took me, Fat Charles, a bunch of us, Keno, and they put us on the ninth grade team with G Nut and them. I don't know. I think G Nut was on the uh, eighth grade team or ninth. I don't know, but they put us on the. Uh, when Lil T was the quarterback for Elmhurst, nigga, we played every game at Elmhurst, nigga. <laughs> nigga, we had a park in Cordia, nigga. I ain't never played no motherfucking football game. We was playing flag. I ain't never played a flag football game at Concordia, bruh. Never. We ain't had no home field advantage, nigga. We had to go to Elmhurst every week and play, nigga. But who was in the game with us, nigga, when that nigga Pierre Stevenson, nigga, was the last player of the game? And that nigga threw that motherfucker from uh, East 14th, nigga, to uh, Outlook. <laughs> That nigga Pierre Stevens used to have an arm like a motherfucker, nigga. But on my mama, uh, cause that put us in the playoffs, bruh. Who was playing football with me then? That nigga Pierre Stevenson, we got that nigga some time to throw, nigga. That nigga threw that motherfucker, nigga. I'm telling you from East 14th to Outlook, nigga. And that nigga caught it in the end zone. I don't even know who caught it, but it was our team. I was still down there blocking motherfuckers and shit. I just seen my niggas jumping up in the end zone fucking with it. You know what I'm talking about? That's how I knew we won. But that shit was like a Stand By Me movie. Nigga, everybody just ran down there and nigga in the huddle. We was juice. We got beat the next week, nigga. We ain't go nowhere. But that moment right there was priceless. <coughs> <coughs> y'all see y'all fall. <coughs> Bro, can't even cough. Y'all to feel. Y'all all right? Y'all all right, man? <coughs> Five pa. That motherfucker ain't stable. You know, bro, just a regular nigga. I ain't got nan a YouTube attachment. No nigga, this motherfucker sitting on a bag. Y'all know how bro fuck with it. Just everyday people. You know what I'm talking about? But on this multi markers on Monday, bro, us as the people, we just need to cut it out. You know what I'm talking about? Because what we doing now is accepting these all ho ass behaviors, nigga. Now we coming up here rationalizing. Now you got real niggas in the conversation and shit talking about if a nigga snitched or didn't, bruh. It just be... It's just too many twists and turns now to get out of something. And all that shit is is just the way of the world is now, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? We sit up here, nigga. If we like somebody, we giving them a pass. If we don't like somebody, we finna crucify them. And it's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Oh, man, look. That motherfucker ain't that bad. That y'all leaning on. I just looked at my ass, uh, my knuckles again. The motherfuckers was ashy as a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? I was finna grab my lotion, but it's in the bag. Y'all sitting on, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all using it as a pillow. <laughs> hey, y'all talking about? Hey, you finna fuck with it right there. Fuck it. But how y'all doing on this Labor Day, man? What y'all finna go do? I think bruh finna go partake in some ribs and shit. I don't, I don't know what I'm finna do actually, right? But uh, I'm finna do something. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm finna do something. But I hope everybody out there, I hope this video finds everybody well. Because I really get flack in real life like I told y'all. And I know it might be a million other motherfuckers that just, for some reason, can't stand when I talk. Because I told you niggas be teasing me and shit. In real life. Oh, my bread don't nobody want to hear that shit. And your channel not popping, you don't. My channel will never pop then, nigga. If that's what it takes to pop, nigga. Because I just don't indulge in mess, nigga. I don't, bro. I don't think that's cool, bro. I'm a nigga. I don't think nothing's this cool. Uh, that multi markism shit, bro. I, I don't find that shit fly. You know what I'm talking about? Bro, I came up at, bro, you was speaking on another nigga. You was liable to get your ass whooped. Before 3 o'clock that day, you was liable to get your ass whooped, bro. For real. 
That shit just ain't fly, and that's what I'm talking about. We done took all these behaviors knowing that shit ain't cool, but now this is what we doing. And then we cause a diversion. This is exactly what we doing up here talking about everybody else. <clears throat> and giving our opinions on all this shit and what we would have did, could have did, and all that old shit. And what they should have did and all that shit, right? We do that shit all motherfucking day. And then have the audacity to come out here and point that shit out on somebody else like we not doing it ourselves. Somebody tried to tell me the other day, bro, you doing the same shit, come up there talking about... No, I'm not, bro. Once again, I'm talking about behaviors. I don't even know how you act. I don't even know what you're doing, bro. I'm just telling you how niggas is acting out here in the real world, bro. This shit is hoish. And then when you use strong words like that, like, man, motherfuckers out here is partaking in the, in the, uh, in bitch behaviors and niggas is acting like hoes and shit. Niggas get hella offended, bro. But they don't get offended for running to the motherfucking forefront talking about, ooh, guess what? They don't get offended by doing that shit, bruh. But they'll get mad at you talking about niggas out here talking like hoes, nigga. But they don't get mad at they self, nigga, when they run up here, nigga, like the bitch talking about, ooh, guess what? They in jail, y'all. You know what I'm talking about, bruh? Get the fuck up out of here with that shit, nigga. Be mad at yourself, nigga, for acting like the bitch, nigga. You niggas kill me with that shit. Y'all do. We just live in a world where motherfuckers is living, looking at everybody else's shit, talking about what they could have did in their situation. That shit boosy, bro. It just is. What you would have did. I'm going to get my expert opinion. Told y'all this shit is getting ran by nerves, bro. Why you think these niggas talking? These niggas all on famous niggas bitches and shit, talking about who fucking with a, uh, the nerves, bro. Talking about, ooh, she's for the streets. He's fucking with a, uh, porn star or some old shit like that, bro. The same porn star them niggas been jacking off to since they been eight years old. Man, get the fuck up out of here, bro. Y'all, you niggas just been turned into the bitch, bro. And y'all, uh, y'all run around from a space of spite and envy and, and I don't know. I just don't get all the, the multi-markism, bro. I just don't get it. I don't. I don't. Niggas just don't know how to be the normal them. That's all you got to do in life, bro. Just be normal old you. Most of y'all get caught up because y'all try to follow the crowd. Y'all trying to keep up with what they say is in. You feel what I'm saying? You don't know how to be yourself. You embarrassed to be yourself. Right now, nigga, if you had a hole in your shirt and you had on some dirty clothes and a nigga picked you up right now talking about you had an opportunity, you wouldn't even want to go, bro. You'll be talking about what you got on. You'll be embarrassed of what you got on. Please, nigga. My first impression, nigga. I'm my first impression, nigga. As soon as I get to open my motherfucking mouth, nigga. I wouldn't give a fuck what I had on, nigga. I'm all that shit, nigga. Once I open my mouth, nigga. Three-piece button-down gator. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm all that shit, bro. When I open my mouth, nigga. I don't need all that extra shit. And that shit might work sometimes. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The, the first impression is uh, what you got on. Your appearance. Uh, man, listen, bro. The impression of a motherfucker, you gear them, you can have anything on and be sharp, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? And be sharp as a motherfucker. Y'all seen that Will Smith shit? It didn't matter what that nigga had on. He knew what he was talking about, nigga. And that's what I be talking about. I told you it's going to be all over the place on this multi-markism shit. A lot of y'all, y'all, y'all stop. You will fuck off your opportunity because that right there. Because you feel like if you don't got on some designer shit or if you don't got this or if you don't got that, you can't. Man, listen, motherfucker gonna have to tell me no. Long time ago, they asked me when I became the leg master. They asked me how did I do it, bro? Because you gonna have to tell me no. Anybody I see with a mouth, I'm asking. I don't give a fuck what you look like. And ask them how many <laughs> weird motherfuckers I... <laughs> Ask for how many motherfuckers is then being with baby cuz that don't look like they would ever be with baby cuz, bruh. You don't know what somebody going through, bruh. You just gonna have to tell me no, bruh. I'm gonna talk up for mine, folks. You feel me? I'm gonna talk up for mine, bruh. You gonna have to tell me no. I ain't gonna beat myself. I ain't gonna say, oh man, they ain't finna. Uh, you gonna have to tell me no. 
you're gonna have to literally tell me yourself no i'm not gonna psych myself out talking about you going no nah, man you're gonna have to tell me no leave me alone <laughs> that's what you're gonna have to tell bro because i'm on you on some real shit Oh, some real shit, man. I just realized I'm finna have to. These motherfuckers right here are nasty as a month. I just realized they ain't that bad. You know what? Y'all gonna have to hold on for a minute. Or can I do it? I know I could do it. You feel me? I know I could do it. And once you know that, you'll get better results. Don't wonder, just know. <laughs> just know. Ain't no time. Don't question yourself. Just do it. Y'all peep that. If it was a movie that would have said message, you know what I'm talking about? But that's the, uh, on this multi markism. On this multi markism, man. is the people and once again it don't matter if you really hard you tough you can fight and all that shit bro if you participating in that shit bro it's all the same folks it's all the same folks you know what i'm talking about but what we do now is we come and participate in the fuckery nigga but we act like we not part of the fuckery too you know what i'm talking about we act like the shit we doing ain't the fuckery shit bro we act like coming up here giving our opinion on somebody else. Hey, man, y'all niggas crazy as a motherfucker, bruh. And I just don't get how many real or niggas that call themselves real niggas participate with that shit, bruh. That's a bad trait, bruh. It just is. And I already know what the, you know what I'm talking about? Because I done heard it all before. I already know the, uh, the explanation for it and all that shit. And get your money, man. Get your money, man. You know what I'm talking about? Live your life, folks. Don't listen to my opinion. I'm just telling you in the end, that shit gonna fuck us off. It is, bruh. Cause I'm gonna give you an analogy for the pen, bruh. It's just like we in the pen and we embarrassing our folks in front of all the other races. And you know you don't do that either. You just take care of your folks and get him up out of there. You don't sit around there and embarrass your folks and they in front of everybody. You know you don't. You know what I'm talking about? Our business is our business. So I don't know how it just got to this. multi mark is a Monday. Somebody gonna say, bro, there you go with that institutional law and shit. Nah, man, there, bro, go with that solid shit. Don't make no sense, folks. You know it don't. Carmel Ribbon Crunch Frap. It's just a cool thing to do now. So since we could do it, I told you, we'll get to the virtual world. Nigga just told me that the other day. Talking about, bro, nigga, nigga, you ain't, I told you, nigga, be teasing me in real life about your channel. Nigga, your shit only be getting 20, man, I don't give a fuck about no view, nigga. I don't, folks. I'm surprised I got as far as I got talking about the shit I'm talking about. That's why you niggas don't like to hear that shit, bro, because motherfuckers running around here acting like hoes in real life. This shit ain't even got nothing to do with no computer. That's you niggas stuck in this shit. Nigga, I live real life. <laughs> nigga, for real. That's y'all stuck in this shit, worried about this shit, bro. I said, man, yo, nigga, your video only got 20 views. I don't be looking at that shit. Nigga, why you think I got so many videos? I just make these motherfuckers and push on. But every time I do make one, you know what I'm talking about? One of my niggas will call me from that good old pen. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about what my video done did for them for their day. You know what I'm talking about? Laughing and shit. You know what I'm talking about? So I done did my job, y'all. I don't be trying to impress people I don't know. I don't be trying to impress people I know. I just keep it solid with my niggas. I just really try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Like I've done my whole life. That's all I've ever actually tried to do. And I don't, like I say, bro, y'all know me for real. I don't give a fuck about this shit, nigga. Y'all know, bro, for real, nigga. Y'all done did the whole, y'all done been from Frick to nigga uh, West Block with bro. The same shit, bro. 
How do I always lose something? Look, my mama just asked me that the other day. So how the fuck you always lose something? <clears throat> Look, this is the shit when bruh used to be on like shit. I've been pulled over on the freeway looking for my motherfucking lighter. Because there is no party without the light. <laughs> it just ain't, you know what I'm talking about? But on this multi mark is a Monday, man. We be out here trying to trying to uh spin shit around. And that's why this shit's so fake. Cause we out here trying to make the fake shit seem like it's cool now. You know what I'm talking about? We act like anybody else giving their opinion on something that's different from us giving our opinion on something. <clears throat> well, hold on, cause I gotta go in depth right there because niggas give you flag now. And when I say your opinion on something, you see I talk about behaviors. I ain't I ain't I don't have nothing to say about nobody business but my own. I don't have no opinion in the, I don't come up here with other people's situations and put that shit on the forefront. That's what I'm talking about. You, you entitled to your own opinion forever, folks. Forever. You can have your own opinion. What I'm telling you is, bruh, is whole behavior to come up here, nigga, watching the world, watching everybody go through their motherfucking mishaps and whatever they going through and come up here and gossip about it like the bitch, bruh. You feel me? Then as soon as a motherfucker gets to talking about you, you gonna apply the same the same logic that people are applying and you talking about they shit. You gonna say, oh man, these niggas out here, I don't even know you folks. You gonna you say all oh, the nigga, y'all don't know these people. But it's gonna be different when the motherfucker get in your business. I don't even know y'all folks. You weird ass niggas and woo, bro, that shit weird all the way around. Just like when a nigga do it to you. <laughs> that shit just weird all the way around, bro. Around the motherfucking world, folks. And it's the nerds, folks. Just like I was saying, why you think the niggas on the bitches? No matter what you do, bruh. If you slap a bitch, they gonna say you out here disrespecting the black woman. Then, if a black woman, you and the black woman break up, they gonna start talking about, see, you shouldn't fuck with the black woman. Bruh, this shit is just multi-markism. It's just gonna be whatever you do, bruh. They gonna criticize it. These niggas don't know nothing, bruh. These niggas is nerds, folks. Why you think these niggas sit up here and tell these niggas all this shit about these modern hoes then be flying these hoes out for 8,000 and shit, bruh? To trick with these bitches. I told you, that's how y'all empowered these old raggedy ass hoes, bruh, my mom. Y'all got the ugly thick bitch thinking she worth something. Bitch over there looking like, uh, Bo Winkle. <laughs> the bitch over there looking like Bo Winkle with ass, man. And y'all done flew the bitch out, man. Cut it out, folks. And the nephew says, old oh, man, old lady. Nephew says, old oh, man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old oh, lady. You know what I'm talking about? Those are real shit, bro. We be hella funny on this multi mark is a Monday, man. And we acting like it ain't us. We act like we ain't the ones running around here. Every time we see something, we want to come give our opinion on the popular people. Hoping this is how we want to get famous now. We want to come up here running our mouth on somebody else's business uh, like the bitch and just hoping that they mention this back so that we can get, man, that shit boosy, folks. That shit hella boosy. I promise you, nigga, even like it. All that mess audience, bro, that shit boosy, bro. Straight nerves, niggas in the go live, nigga, in your comment asking you about other than, man, I don't know nothing about nobody else, nigga. He know what I'm talking about, nigga, I know about me. He know what I'm talking about, bro. Y'all be yelling funny with that shit, bro. Y'all just yelling nosy like the hoe. But when a nigga tell you that, you gonna act like you not nosy like the hoe and turn right around and dig in somebody's business. Y'all don't understand, nigga, that's whole activity, nigga. That's stalker, that's stalker activity, bruh. Y'all wake up in the morning on other people's social media sites, Twitters and Instagrams and shit, bruh, trying to figure out what happened, bruh. Some people you don't know and you don't think that, what is that, bruh? That the bitch was doing that to you, bruh, to be a stalker. If you was doing that to the bitch, it'd be a stalker, wouldn't you? That'd be some weird ass shit. But for some reason, when y'all do it, all of a sudden it's not weird anymore. You got a, you got a rationalization for it. Why you doing the same shit these people doing? And that's how the little nephews and niecey poos getting like this, folks. Because they just sitting around watching us. Nigga trying to blame the bitch for the niecey poos and shit. Why this nigga sitting around on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and shit arguing with niggas all day in front of his son, bro. I told y'all that before. Man, that shit ain't got nothing to do with the bitch. 
I told you it's these sis ass niggas out here, bruh. You niggas in a virtual world. This shit, this shit just really means something to you. It do, folks. And y'all just multi markism. Now it's gonna be a conversation on everything. You know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be a conversation on everything, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? It's just gonna be a conversation on everything, no matter what happened. Somebody you like, they're gonna get a pass. Somebody you don't like, they're gonna get crucified. Because somehow it's just different for different people. We don't keep the game even. See, when it's somebody we like and we give a pass, we wanna hear all the facts and shit. You know what I'm talking about? When it's somebody we don't like, we don't know what happened. We just wanna spread that shit. Guess what they did, girl? Niggas act like hoes, folks. But when it's another nigga that you like or something, you trying to have understanding. I'm saying everybody should just get understanding or everybody should just get crucified. It just shouldn't be. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> it should just be one way or the other, bro. Everybody going to get crucified or everybody going to get uh, understanding. <clears throat> it's not. It's going to pick and choose. See, because I started to make another Monday. And just talk about how motherfuckers, uh, you get what I'm saying? If you one of the motherfuckers, like, you only could be friends with a motherfucker when they doing something for you. I was trying to come with one like that. But as I woke up this morning and went to the gas station, you know what I'm talking about? I seen multi-markism. So I came with this one. You know what I'm talking about? This is the one I came with. Multi-markism. And that's what really be going on out here, folks. Doing some real shit. <clears throat> and we sit around, man, and we do the fakest shit, nigga. But we got a reason. Y'all making the fake shit cool, because y'all keep on making rationalizations to do fake shit. We sitting around with the nerds now gossiping like the bitch. We sitting around on the, with bitches trying to understand the bitches. Y'all ever been on one of them? Y'all ever been on one of them episodes? When a nigga trying to impress the bitch. So this nigga just sitting around here looking like a mark. Agreeing with the bitch and all that. Niggas be crazy, folks. You doing all this just to fuck this funky bitch. And that's how y'all be whipping y'all self. Man, listen. Y'all been to dead all that shit when you got your chance to fuck that shit was nothing, wasn't it? Whooped. Uh, keep on. <laughs> you just keep on, man. Why? Because you gonna get what you ask for. For real. You get what you ask for. You keep on valuing that shit if you want to, man. But on this multi marketism Monday, man, please, folks. Please, folks. Niggas know this shit is, uh... A1 out of pocket, nigga. Niggas know this shit is A1 out of pocket. But we just gonna get away with it because everybody doing it now. This is what YouTube, I told you, this was, uh... I'm talking about this shit now. When you first start this shit or whatever, bro, that's what they gonna tell you to do. You get to look up how to grow your YouTube channel, watch what them niggas tell you to do. I'm telling you, man, that's why I just don't listen to people. You getting advice from a nerd though. They can tell you how to grow your channel, some bullshit. Just become a nerd, sit around and talk like everybody about the bitch. Report on the latest Rico cases. And they, they didn't put this shit in everybody's mind, bruh. Like, just report on the hot topics, was trending viral. Man, you niggas crazy, bruh. You got a platform, you could do something with that motherfucker besides run your mouth like the bitch, bruh. You can. And once again, that's all the fuck we gonna do, folks. We gonna sit up here threatening each other. We gonna do all this shit, bruh. When it comes to them other people, man, we gonna leave them alone. We gonna act like we got sense. We, we ready to sit down with them. We ready to come to a conclusion. We can't do that with each other. You know what I'm talking about? We could, we, we could respect the next uh, race. We could respect everybody else. But when it comes to me and you, the nigga, it's on when you see them. Man, niggas is crazy with that shit. That shit is like a, some, a slave mentality to me, man. It just is. Just like when the police come around, how niggas get hella nice instant. You check yourself. Your brothers come around, you mugging and shit, bro. That shit crazy. That 
That shit crazy. It just is. But we don't understand it. We tough. We tough with each other. You know what that shit remind me of? Like you could be on the turf, right? And for some reason, these niggas always getting into it with each other. But the moment an outside threat come around, now it's a, uh, let's talk and all that shit, bro. That's what that shit remind me of. You feel me? The niggas that sit around there all day. Y'all ever been through one of them turfs like that? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You go over there, them niggas fighting each other all day. Every time the dice game come, you know something. You know what I'm talking about? Them niggas over there fighting each other all day. The moment, and I mean the second the outside threat come through. Now everybody want to, hold on, let's, let's, let's let cooler heads prevail and all that shit right there. And all that come from is because a nigga think he know his partner. You know what I'm talking about? So you do you think you be having that partner love sometime and how far a motherfucker take it. You be scared to get into it with another motherfucker because you don't know what the fuck they'll do. That shit sucker shit. And on this multi marketism Monday, that's a direction. Y'all wanna talk about trending? We trending in the direction of some sucker shit. We already engulfed with the sucker shit. The niggas just acting like some goonies, folks. One word come out, what's the word everybody running around saying now? Motion. Niggas just hear everything, man. That shit, it just, I don't know. That's just my opinion, though. Shit just look hella fake. <clears throat> I don't talk like the rest of the world, bruh. Hey, you have niggas use goony words, bruh. They got niggas running around sounding like Sagoonies in the penitentiary. Talking about we got the T and just, bruh, all that. Bruh, niggas sound like hoes, folks. But niggas that just follow anything subconsciously. You know, <laughs> man, you gotta be a leader, bruh. <laughs> all right, you be knowing all that shit, that other shit they be saying is motherfucker be a, you gotta be a follower before you can be a leader. Right. Who is you following though? You can follow yourself and still nigga, please, bruh. Please, nigga. All you gotta do is learn, bruh. Follow knowledge, nigga. You ain't gotta follow nobody to learn how to lead, nigga. You either a leader or you not, nigga. You a peon. Either or, nigga. What's wrong with you niggas right now, bro? Y'all be trying to create yourself, bro. What's ever in your heart gonna be in your heart, nigga. That shit was there from ever. <clears throat> What's ever in you is in you, bro. Multi mark is a Monday. That's what's wrong, bro. And before I get up out of here. On some real shit. Because the nerds done found out how to just. Because now you can get money off this shit now, right? <clears throat> so now the nerds is privileged to to the lifestyle they never was able to uh, to get to before. You know what I'm talking about? A nerd could be banked up off this shit right here. Now he can go <clears throat> hang out with the cool people. You feel what I'm saying? Now he can get the jewelry and the cars and all that shit. And go hang out with the cool people. Now he could be somebody. Y'all let the nerds infiltrate y'all. And y'all gonna start following them niggas, bruh. Y'all funny as a motherfucker. It's like, back in the day, it's like the nerds that knocked the money up off of YouTube. Now they can come hang out with the dope dealers while you really grinding. But they just up there look like they grinding. You know what I'm talking about? It's just weird, bruh. Because y'all mixing y'all game with nerds. Y'all is. Y'all mixing y'all game with nerves, bruh. Just like how the, the, the music used to follow the streets. Now you niggas trying to be like niggas on TV, bruh. You niggas picking, like WWE, bruh. You niggas picking your favorite character. Y'all trying to reenact these niggas. <clears throat> Anything, man. Niggas got y'all running around. These niggas got y'all putting earrings in your lips and your nose and shit, bruh. You, <laughs> tell you, bruh. You niggas, you tell you, bruh. Y'all one step away from being some goonies, bruh. On some real shit. But what do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, man, you know what I'm talking about? Carmel Ribbon Crunch Frap! You know what I'm talking about? I always remember. It don't cause nothing. Just show a little bit of that love, man. Happy Labor Day to all, man. You know what I'm talking about? 
Happy Labor Day to all, man. Y'all, uh, everybody get home safe and shit. You know what I mean, man? But uh, at some point, man, you got to, uh, if you want something to change, you got to stop. You got to change yourself, folks. You got to be the one not doing this shit. It starts there, man. You know what I'm talking about? But happy Labor Day, y'all.